Hello, my name is Bruce Jane, and today I'd like to share with you an assignment that I have for my students in our study of sound. Uh, specifically, my expectation is I want my students to build me a musical instrument. Now, it can be percussion, it could be woodwind, it could be strings, but in each case, the criteria is the same. My students need to be able to play an octave of notes. They need to be able to identify the notes, its frequency, the wavelength. F, E, A, E, C, D, E, F. And the culmination is they need to be able to play me a tune. So we have a lot of different ideas here. Let's take a look at a few of them. Now, some of my students made instruments by changing the length of the resonating chamber. In this case, it is a pan flute. Uh, this person made a flute, and we changed the length of the chamber by covering up finger holes. And let's see how that sounds. Now the students that make a percussion instrument want to identify where the notes are. And with the long bar, we can demonstrate that very easily. And if the bars are supported at about these positions, it's going to give us a much better sound than if you tried supporting it somewhere else. In some cases, the bars are dropped instead of hitting them with something. Now, another popular idea is to use various sized containers filled with water, and we strike them with a hard surface. To get different sounds. <laughs> or in this case we have same size bottles filled with different amounts of water and we blow across the opening at the top <laughs> that's always fun now we had a variety of stringed instruments in this case it was rubber bands This piece was similar to a guitar setup. And in this next piece, the pitch was changed by changing the position of the bridge. So here are a few more of the ideas that my students came up with. Keep going. 